Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to install um, the pre rooted ROM of Doom Lords um, Official 2.3.3 with the uh, fix recovery. Now, I will have all this in the description. And it's pretty straightforward. You're going to need to have a working recovery and a, a flash hole. And here we go. Let's get started. So, I have my X10 on 2.1 right now. I did, I flashed back down so I can make this video. And so we're going to reboot. When I reboot, we're going to power off and then we're going to go to X Recovery. All right, let's turn it back on. Alright, so what you're going to do first is you're going to go to restore and you're going to um, restore the pre-rooted version. Let me show you where it says that. So after you download this, you're going to... Um, Put it to your SD card in X Recovery, the X Recovery folder, and in Backup, so that it looks just like this. So all these things are in there. So after you copy it, just restore. So let's go back to the X10. We're gonna press Restore, and let that do that. shouldn't take long and before you begin you will need flash tool um, you will need flash tool and uh, there will be a guide here because one of the steps involves you um, like after you reboot from restoring you have to immediately put it in um, the FTF bundle so you can flash the kernel and base bin that's the only thing um, the rest is just pretty straightforward see some pictures here um, and on the website XDA, we now have three kernels, I believe. Make that four. And this one's my favorite right here. The uh, power to the people kernel. By Doom Lord. And it goes to 1.2 megahertz. 1.2 gigahertz. And I already made a video on that. I'll put that in the description also. So that's the restoring. Alright, so it's done restoring. And 
here's the tricky part. You're gonna want to get your USB cable ready. Um. All right. So this is what I'm doing right now. I have to flash the uh, FTF bundle part right here. So you're gonna open up Flash Tool, go to Flash and Flash the Baseband and Kernel update. So Flash to that. Now um, you're gonna. I need both hands for this. So I'm gonna put this down. You're going to press reboot. You're going to take the battery out. Take take it completely out. So. But it get your USB port in. Get that ready. Put your battery back in and hold the back button. This is what you have to do. There is no work around, no nothing. You have to do it. So you're gonna wait till that finishes flashing. Shouldn't take long at all. All right, it's done. So take a look at flash tool. You do have to do it till it's done. There is no work around around it. Get the phone back ready. You do have to do that for the pre root version. Now, there is a direct method, but I find that one kind of hard, anyways. But I don't know, it's a personal opinion. All right, so we're gonna turn the phone back on. Well, turn it on and see the new 2.3 update. So y'all finally get to see it, how it looks before all this stuff. And it does come with, um, uh, recovery. So this is all you have to do. And, like, I would recommend, the first thing I would do, I'm going to show y'all just what I do to get my running and ready for gaming. Because gaming's the most important thing for me. But anyways, I'm going to end this video right now. I'm gonna show y'all like how to optimize it and everything. As soon as this loads up, I'm gonna show y'all. Once again, this is the pre-rooted Doom Lord ROM, and yeah, links will be in the description, and it will take a while to load up. Right here it is. I'm just gonna skip everything because uh, I 
there we go. Official 2.3.3. Got phones. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. This is how to flash the stock pre-rooted Sony Ericsson ROM. Um, please subscribe.